after the successful implementation of inheritance let's consider a scenario like i have a couple of classes called base class and derived class again base class suppose giving me a feature called m1 a fun function method called m1 and if i define the same m1 method in our derived class what will happen practically and logically here we call it data hiding or shadowing so let's see how can we handle this shadowing thing practically okay so here in this example i have taken some meaningful name as in the previous example we just took my class 1 my class 2 some dummy names so here you can understand it even more better way like there is a base class person and a derived class employee and there is a is a relationship between the derived and the base class like employee is a person person class containing two properties like name and age which any person has and uh, similarly in employee we have the salary and designation these two properties which every employee has but obviously it is not a good idea to keep the name and age everywhere in all the classes so i am just inheriting this person class right here person class also contains a definition called work which is having a very simple message like it works because derived classes are very generalized classes and it, you cannot specify like which kind of this person is all about so i am giving a very generalized definition like it works but when it comes for an employee now we have a better picture like what this person is all about it is an employee it used to go to the office it used to earn some money and so on so what i can do is just putting this reusing concept right here for this employee class will not be a good idea because it works is not the closest definition for an employee so let's define a method here called work i will give a better message like it earns so now it is a clear message for an employee now if i will create the instance of employee class let's say emp1 is equal to new employee and i'll say emp1.work so which method should get called let's execute and see it earns that simply means the work method of employee class got executed and that should happen as we have already discussed like every derived class will take the features from its base class only when it does not have it so now employee has its own definition of work so obviously it will not take it from the parent but i can see the green line right here if i'll put the mouse it will give you a warning like employee dot work hides the inherited member person dot work it is just giving you a warning so that make sure like by chance you are not missing some functionality given by the base class because you have completely hidden the definition provided by the base class so if you want to make this hiding knowingly just add a new keyword not here like this yep now you see the warning is gone and now it will tell the environment that yes i want to hide the property or functionality provided by the base class so this is what we call the data hiding or shadowing where you can completely ignore the definition provided by the base classes